won't call me by my name? You get a new one. People often mispronounce my name, even family members who have known me my whole life I'm in my late twenties. Think a person named Marissa being called Melissa. I was at my family's Thanksgiving and my uncle Gary kept calling me the wrong name. I let it go a few times, but after the fourth time I told him its real name his response was what did I say? And when I corrected him he said why does it matter? I said it close enough I've heard this my whole life, but this time something broke inside me. Cool, pronouncing my name correctly doesn't matter? I renamed him Gurd. A few family members and I kept calling him Gurd the rest of the day. At first he acted like he didn't care and thought it was funny, but towards the end of the day he admitted he'll work on getting my name correctly. Until he can pronounce my name right consistently, his name is Gurud. It can be done for laughs too David, a friend of my parents didn't pronounce my common name correctly like ever and came up with increasingly odd alternatives. So I gave it back to him, Dive, Dove, Bavid, etc. We both thought it was hilarious and he stopped my parents from scolding me. I had a guy on Teams keep addressing me with the alternative spelling of my first name in spite of it being right there for him to see. Think Rebecca instead of Rebecca. So I noticed his name had an alternate spelling and started using that, think Alan instead of Alan. All of a sudden he magically figured out how to spell my name correctly. As person with an unusual name that gets mispronounced all the time Spanish pronunciation instead of Russian I totally understand. I've had bosses, friends, co-workers all do it. And they all act so surprised when I correct them like I'm the one saying it wrong. And as it's a family name I'm sure my grandma and great-grandma knew their name too. This reminds of the petty revenge of the guy whose new co-worker kept calling him Jack when his name was John despite being told multiple times, bought it with boss HR etc, new guy was out of town on business and said something along the lines of hey Jack don't forget to pick me up at the car rental place, John did not, cue loads of ranting emails etc cussing, guy said some messed up stuff and got fired if memory serves me correctly lol smiling face with open mouth and tightly closed eyes. I've had people do the same thing to me my entire life. Eventually I got to a point where I just ignore people who mispronounce my name. It's funny when it's a superior at work. They get mad at me for ignoring them. Then I remind them they were saying Clary but my name is Carrie so they obviously weren't talking to get the stupidest look on their face cause they know him right and they can't do shit about me ignoring them bah ha ha. Where I just started working we have a guy named Ben. He's autistic and very friendly. For the first couple of days I was calling him Tom. No one including him said anything to me that it was Ben. The third day my co-worker told me his correct name. I went and apologized to him for calling him Tom. He said that's okay at least you talked to me and and was nice to me. Made me tear up a bit. Learning someone's name is quite literally the least that one can do. I hate it when people do this. My whole childhood people mispronounced my name just because they think it should be pronounced different for girls. No matter how much I corrected them they still believed they were right and I was wrong. I have a name that if you add a letter to the end it changes the name to another and people have used the other name all my life. A bit like Helen and Helena but my real name is a slightly usual spelling so they just assume I'm wrong and they are correct. Folks, including at university, employers, hospitals etc. almost always add a bloody letter to the end even when I've handwritten the damn thing, it's like they really believe I've spelled my own name wrong after 51 years. Total pillux the lot of them. I'm tempted to do this with a lady at work. Constantly calls me the wrong name name of the only other black woman there. We wear name tags to no excuse. One day she said to me hey ex and I ignored her and she was like why are you ignoring me? And I tried to say why do you keep calling me not by my name but she cut me off before I could say it. Hate people like that. Ermagurd. My deputy head teacher called me and not my name for three years and yes I did try and correct but she either didn't hear me or ignored me and then finally she started calling me by my real name and cos I was so used to her calling me and I completely ignored her cos I was so used to her calling me Anne. 
The perfect end to this story would be if Gary went through a legal name change to Gurud. 100 The right way to deal with it. Refusing to put in the tiny amount of effort required to pronounce someone's name correctly is an effective way to alienate people and demonstrate that you're a disrespectful douchebag. It is pronounced data. What's the difference? One is my name. The other is not. I remember as a child being so confused when people would call my dad Bill when his name was Will Ha Ha. Gurudamit. My wife's female cousin married an Irish guy named Alec. His wife and MIL call him Alec. It's pronounced Alec, SMH. Had a boss called Claudia who kept shortening my name. I started calling her Claude, she learned eventually. My given name is actually a nickname. My aunts like to use the full name my name comes from ex name Tina but they call me Christina when trying to get my attention in crowded places. I ignore TF out of them. Not my name ladies, must not be my attention you seek. It's not like my name has changed at some point either. It's always been the shorter nickname version on all my legal documents. Data, data, what's the difference? One is my name. The other is not. I have a name that's mispronounced a lot it's Dutch and I thought South Africans mispronounced it bad, Americans are worse rolling on the floor laughing rolling on the floor laughing but 12 years ago I started a new job and one of my new colleagues called me different names all the time. I left it because I could tell she was terrible at names but then it was my birthday and she sang the wrong name so loudly that everyone stopped singing and looked at her. So awkward for her and me she never forgot my name after that and we are still friends to this day. Gurud the fucking turd. I used to work with a guy the boss who would only call people Charlie. Nobody gave a shit, though. LOL. Should have called him Gurley. Yep. Fuck Gurud. Well done. Everyone deserves to have their name pronounced correctly. My so's dad always called me Steve for the longest time, it's not even close to my name. None of the letters in Steve appear in my name. I dunno if it was a power thing or just on purpose to get on my so's nerves. But after we stayed together for years, I guess he saw we were serious and he refers to me with my correct name now. It's Bing Bong, Gurud. My wife and I have been married for 15 and a half years. Most of her family calls me by her cousin's name. He's Shane. I'm Sean. I stopped correcting them years ago. I just don't give a damn anymore. Endora did this to Dewood for years. Keep an eye on Gurud. In the South, people will deliberately mispronounce someone's name as a calculated insult. Or it could be turd. I have a super common name, normal spelling, and everything, and people mishear it all the time to names that aren't even close. On the phone, it has been all sorts of names. In person, it's the same very wrong name, which I find weird. At least it makes it easier to know when to ask if it's actually my food, though. I always apologize beforehand when I try to pronounce a name I'm not familiar with. I feel like as long as I put in a genuine effort, then it shouldn't be a huge deal, but it seems as if your uncle just doesn't care. Don't blame you for mispronouncing his name. I've had a few instances when I correct people of the pronunciation for my name and they just shrug and say close enough. Annoys me a lot. Why does it matter? Because it's your name, it's part of you and who you are we are proud of it and fuck you it matters. See how it feels when it's your name. I like Gurud, it suits him. I would question the need to change back. Swarley. Oh no no no. An uncle getting your name wrong does he think that he is a comedian? Call him Gurud for the rest of his life. There's a great scene in Star Trek where a character mispronounced Data's name. He corrects her and she asks what the difference is and his answer is perfect one is my name. The other is not.